Hey y'all, Shay here. Um, welcome to this week's WIP in chat. WIP stands for work in progress. So go ahead and pull out whatever you wanna work on. We normally go for about an hour. So just work alongside me or um, hang out, do whatever you need to do for an hour. Let's just escape, have some fun. I'm gonna catch you up on kind of what I've been up to this last week. And we'll just kind of go from there and get some work done. So um, how is everybody? How are you doing? Uh, make, make sure and let me know down in the comments how you are. I love to catch up with you guys. Um, you're my family, you're my friends, and I really do want to know how you are. So let me know down in the comments or send me a private message on Instagram or email. Everything's listed down below. Um, let's see. So much to talk about. Um, where do we even begin? Welcome to those that are new. So I know I've got some new folks because of Mermaids and Magic 2023, which is the event that I'm hosting this month with my best friend, Randy. You can call me Butter. So welcome to those that are new. And if you've come back again, thank you so much for your continued support. And uh, I'm glad you came back. So, all right, let's get to it. Now, I normally try to film these on Wednesdays, but I just got back from vacation. It's been a little crazy. Couldn't quite pull it together. So it's actually Thursday morning. I normally try to have these out by now, but it's going to be a little delayed today. Um, it's now 1147 in the morning. And I do have, y'all, I don't have one, but I've got two cups of coffee. <laughs> one is cold. And so instead of coming to my craft room and grabbing it and heating it back up, I just made a new cup. So that's what you got to do sometimes. So then go ahead and grab something to eat, something to drink, and let's just settle in and hang out. So it is Thursday and I am back in Texas. Um, I was in Florida at Disney World on vacation and we'll catch up and talk about all that good stuff in just a second. But first let's uh, cover what I'm working on. I am working on a diamond painting and this is from Muni Made and it's called Deity of Dawn and it's by Femke Deborah. It's licensed artwork. I need to put the start date on here, but look at this huge sticker that comes with this kit. It is a square and it's a 60 by 85. And I don't know how many colors, I don't remember, uh, 40. So not a whole lot of colors, very, very manageable. But I will tell you one thing, y'all, it is confetti heavy. I'm not a big confetti fan. So I'm kind of struggling a little, little bit. Nothing negative about Mini Made. I'm just not a big confetti fan. So whew, it's kind of been slow going. Uh, let's see, so here's square one, square two, and I'm only on square three. So I'm on the very, very bottom row. I definitely am not gonna be able to finish this in time um, by the end of March, by the time the event's over, but that's okay. That is okay. I'm learning to let go, give myself some grace, not put the pressure on myself. It's a hobby, it's fun. No one is expecting me to finish. So I shouldn't be putting that pressure on myself either. Okay, life happens and it just hasn't happened. So, um, so that's my diamond painting. And then I am using a Muni made tray. This is one of her large trays, 3D printed trays. You can see she's got Muni made on this side right here, if you can see that. It's just a white one. I thought white would be good because there's a lot of pastel colors in here and I wanted it to pop. So yeah, I've got my white Muni made tray. And I do have, y'all check this out. This is actually today's giveaway. I'm gonna be drawing a name today. This is a pen from Diamond Pen Pal. They're one of our sponsors and it's a lava pen. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm trying to have the lava. There's a mermaid in here. You can see her right there. And then inside there's pearls, there's um, little confetti, there's little shells. It is beautiful. Uh, I did purchase this one. The, they gave us another one to give away. They gave us a dragon one that Randy's giving away during her whip and chat um, this week. So make sure you pay attention on Friday. She's gonna be drawing the winner. And then um, in today's video, I'm gonna be pulling a name for this beauty. So I do have another one. This one's mine. Like I said, I did have to buy my own because it was just so pretty. It does have the mermaid scales on the bottom and the top. Um, and I am using, I have a just a white plastic uh, multi-placer. I have an eight placer in here. And I am using Randa's uh, putty, okay? Speaking of Randa, Randa is another one of our sponsors. And I'm gonna be giving that away today and announcing the winner next week. So pay attention to the secret word that I give in the whip and chat somewhere in this video today. It will be for a gift card, to Randa's Etsy shop. And Randa not only has putty, but she has cover binders, she has diamond paintings now, so that gift card can be used for, she has um, merchandise, like she has clothes, I believe now. She's got so many cool things, a log book. So thank you, Randa, for sponsoring um, this week's video. 
And like I said, I will announce the winner for this one. So hopefully you put the, the word in last week for that. And we'll be doing that somewhere in here. And yes, I'm in love with this pen, you guys. I just got it uh, yesterday because I just got back from vacation and it was in the mail. So I got to open it up. Sorry, I didn't do an unboxing. I just couldn't help myself. I just, I had to start using it. And I wanted to show the pen today. So there's that. And then um, I am using, uh, I decided to pull out my Minnie Mouse Coverminder. This is by Coverminder Saban. She's another one of our sponsors. Um, she is currently, um, her shop is, her Etsy shop is currently closed right now, but um, she is one of our sponsors and we will be donating and giving away some of her Coverminders and some other goodies that she's gonna be sending us. So yes, that's my fun little, it's beautiful. It's so blingy, love it. Uh, what else am I using? Um, I am using Simpy, Simply, Simpy, Simply Gilded Washi Tape to section off my diamond painting. And I am using two Harbor Freight containers for storage. And y'all, I think that's it. So, um, so much has been going on this last week. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> um, if y'all watched my whip and chat from last week, um, let me go ahead and pull back my plastic and start working as we chat. We'll just get going. Um, if you watch my whip and chat from last week, I was at Disney and uh, that was super fun. So I was able to do my whip and chat from there. And uh, yeah, it's just been a whirlwind of a week, but I'm so happy to be back. Very happy to be back. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, the kids are actually on spring break this week. So we allowed them to miss some, a few days of school last week. What happened was the family that we went with, because we do we go with another family, this is about our fourth year, I think it was, and we stayed in a house together, a tree house. It was really fun. And we, uh, so their kids' spring break, they go, they're in a different school district than we are. So their spring break was last week, and ours is this week. So we let our kids miss three days of school, and then their kids miss two days of school this week. But now it's kind of nice to come back and have like a break. We've been able to sleep in and kind of do laundry and went to Costco and the grocery store yesterday and loaded up on food. And we're just trying to get, and now today I'm doing laundry. So yeah, just trying to get back into, you know, get back into the routine. But uh, I'll be happy when they go back to school. It's been a, a, that's why I didn't get my whipping chat done because, you know, everyone's home and I just can't, I'm not alone, you know, and not everyone's at school right now. So, all right. Um, let's talk about Mermaids and Magic, okay? I haven't really even officially talked about it yet. So this Whip and Chat is for Mermaids and Magic 2023. I am hosting this, like I said, with my very, very best friend, my best friend, and that's Randy. You can call me Butter. I will have her link down below. If you're not following her for some reason, definitely go check her out. We, uh, this is our second one. We did it last year. And so much fun. There is an Instagram. We have a hashtag, hashtag Mermaids and Magic 2023. You can still join because today is what? The 16th. So yeah, hop on in. It goes till the end of the month. Um, you don't have to have, ooh, I got a drill stuck. You don't have to have a new start. Um, you don't have to necessarily finish it. If you want to be eligible for the grand prize, um, which will be some diamond paintings and some other goodies, then you have to at least complete a 30 by 40 section. Speaking of that, I did create uh, the Google exit form. We did not have a Google entry form. I figured, you know, I don't need all these forms for y'all to fill out. Let's just make it super simple. Um, you didn't have to have a start photo to prove. We just want um, on the Google exit form, which again, I'll have linked in the description of this video. So if you have completed your painting, which I know a lot of y'all have completed them already, which is amazing. Um, uh, go ahead and fill out that Google exit form. And in there, you'll have to put a picture of your uh, completed painting or your completed 30 by 40 section, okay? And that'll be what we'll use to do the grand prize giveaway. Um, that will be done on my live or Randy's live. We haven't decided who's live yet, but that will be on April, April 2nd. And you do not have to be present to win. We'll just do the announcement live um, on that live stream. And then, you know, if you're not on the live stream, no big deal. You can just, you know, we'll contact you. You can contact us. We'll, we'll, we'll find each other. So the grand prize is lots of things. The main sponsors are two diamond painting companies, okay? We've got Lazy River Wood Turning or Lazy River Diamond Paintings. They um, used to just do pens, but now they have diamond paintings. And they also do scoops, which is really fun. Uh, they do those live. So if you're not following them, I'll have them listed. Of course, I have all these sponsors listed down below. But Lazy River is donating for our U.S. folks a beautiful 
painting, dye and painting. Now, you can be of your choice. There's a mermaid option and there's a magic option. So they'll kind of just let you, you know, depending on what you like, which I think is awesome, they're gonna let you choose your preference instead of just like, here, here's what you get. So um, I will be unboxing, I have it in my possession. I'll be unboxing the mermaid one that will be up for, for winning, uh, up for grabs. And uh, yeah, y'all, they keep sticking. I've got the shakies a little bit. I, I want my third cup of coffee. Yeah, I might need to chill out, y'all. Um, oh, there's so much confetti. So, yes, uh, and then Rose Profit in Australia is going to be donating a one-of-a-kind diamond painting for international folks. It's one of one. So, thank you so much to our grand prize. Plus, we're going to add in some extra goodies that were donated to us. We've had um, some other generous sponsors and donators. So, Yes, y'all, it's just been so fun. We also have a um, Facebook group. So it's uh, Mermaids and Magic 2023. And I have, I do have to apologize, uh, you know, right now that, you know, from being on vacation, I'm a little behind on checking out all the posts. But last night I tried to go through Facebook and check everything out. And I am just, y'all, my heart is so happy. <laughs> You know, I love mermaids. I love fantasy. I love all the things. And it's just so fun to scroll through that and to see everyone's progress. Y'all are doing an amazing job. Uh, I'm just so proud of everybody. The folks that have finished, I always try to comment and give you some encouragement. You know, the folks that are like, I don't know if I can do it. I'm like, you can do it. But uh, even if you don't do it, like me, it's okay. I, we just want everybody to have fun, you know, the, with the weekly, you know, uh, giveaways that, you know, Randy does her whipping chats on Friday and mine go out on Thursday. So, you know, listen for the secret words. We've got some great prizes and just, you know, just really fun. And what I really love is in the Facebook group and on Instagram, I love seeing everyone's posts. And then you see comments from other people in the community giving that person encouragement or saying, I have that too, or I just did that. It's beautiful. And just, that's what I really, really love. I don't want to feel like it's all on Randy and I to host the event and to do all the things. It's the community. We lift each other up. And it's, you know, all hands on deck. And that's what's happening. And I'm seeing relationships formed and people really, you know, getting to know each other that like the same genre of paintings. It's just, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's just been a lot of fun. So I do need to go through the Instagram um, hashtag and I need to go check that out today and see where everyone's at. But like I said, I did get through Facebook and I'm very, very super behind on YouTube comments. I don't even think I've commented on any of the comments from last week. And normally I'm pretty good about that. I have a kind of a, um, kind of a goal for me, like something that I like a standard. I try not to go two or three days past a comment without responding, at least hearting the comment and reading it. So I'm a little behind. So if y'all can just, you know, please, y'all are so sweet. I know no one expects it, but again, I don't want to let anybody down. So I'm always like, Oh, Oh, my multiplacer just came out. I might need some washi tape on that. So yeah, um, thank y'all. Keep, 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 keep on keeping on. Y'all are doing awesome. So proud of everybody. Like I said, everyone's really, really pushing. And it seems like, you know, a lot of folks are having a great time. And it was so fun. In my last whipping chat, I asked for the word magic for the pen. And so many people talked about Disney. And I got to read the comments while I was at Disney. And it really made me feel like it is a magical place and it is special. You know, we go quite a bit and sometimes I, I think I take it for granted, but y'all really reminded me that it is a magical place and we are lucky to go there. And so many people believe in magic and it was just some uplifting comments and I really do love you guys. And I just, you know, you're just a huge part of my life. So anyways, okay. What else about mermaids and magic do we need to talk about? Um, so like I said, this week's winner, uh, I will be announcing the winner for this pen, not this one, but one just like it. And then, um, yeah, I didn't want to be using your pen. That's kind of weird. That's kind of gross, right? So I had to order my own. Um, but, and then I will give y'all a, a word today for Randa's gift card to her Etsy shop. And again, this is always open to US and international. So have at it, have fun. Um, shall we go ahead and give a secret word? Cause I don't want to forget. And I'm like, I don't have to wait till the end. So uh, I wrote down a word. It's, you know, it's kind of hard, right? I want to use a word that a lot of people can come up with a fun, you know, you know, comment. Don't just put the word by itself. 
definitely put it in a sentence and don't put giveaway or prize or anything like that or contest. So that way, you know, only the folks that are actually doing the event, you know, will will know what we're up to. But um, let's put the word water, W-A-T-E-R. Anything about water. Do you like the water? Um, do you not? Do you drink water? I mean, the reason why I picked water because I thought the water is, and a lot of people reminded me of this when we were talking about mermaids and magic and all the things. There's so much of the water that has not been explored. I'm thinking of like the ocean. There is so much magic down there. And uh, obviously mermaids, which I think is, you know, we, we're not really sure if they exist, but who knows? We don't know, right? There's no proof. So I don't know, but we can believe if we want to. Um, what keeps sticking in my mind is the comment that someone made about the mermaids not looking like we think they look. Like they look kind of scary and creepy and like a fish. I was like, ooh. So that's what I keep thinking of now is <laughs> mermaids are not as beautiful as maybe I once was thinking they could be, but that's okay. Um, okay, so what else? So the word is water, okay? So make sure you put water. And then next week's video, I will announce the winner for Randa's gift card. And then um, make sure that you get the Google exit form. I'll definitely have it down in the description for y'all. So you can, you know, uh, fill that out because I know a lot of you have finished, which I'm so impressed. Some of y'all are super, super fast. I'm uh, just like, wow, some of some people are on their second entry. Uh, that's one question we've had a few times is, can we enter more than once? I mean, no, you can do more than one painting. Of course, you can do as many as you want, which I think is awesome. But, you know, you can only enter once. So... All right, what else am I forgetting? Uh, Mermaids and Magic, do, 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 do. Google exit form. I didn't want to forget about that. Um, I do need to pause at some point and pull up the YouTube comment, random comment picker and do the giveaway for the pen, but maybe we'll wait a little bit. We, let's catch up. Let's talk about, I'm trying to think of any of the other diamond painting use. I have a crap ton of unboxings to do. I have so many packages. I'm looking at them right now. There's a huge stack. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm so happy though and so blessed because some of them um, I think is friend mail. Two of them I, I wasn't expecting and I think they're friend mail. So, cause I didn't order anything. Uh, so I need to open up those. I did open up and I didn't film it, but I did open my, and I did show my Patreons, but Bev B, who, uh, Bev B Diamond Paints, who's one of my friends, she lives in Canada. She opened up a shop and she's making bracelets and some other fun things. And I got my package from her. She ships out once a month. So I've got these beautiful bracelets. And I meant to wear one today, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a little too chunky, but I'm definitely gonna wear one in my live. Uh, speaking of my live, I am so sorry I did not you know, go live last Sunday because I was you know, gone, but I didn't even put a post up saying I wasn't gonna be going live. So I am so sorry about that. I normally am, I normally try to be very you know, good about updating y'all on what's going on and I was just totally out of sorts and didn't have my computer and I didn't do a post a community post so but I know a lot of y'all knew I was gone so hopefully um I know you were okay without me but I normally try to update y'all but I will be going live this Sunday well since I'm back we're going to get back on our schedule and I look forward to seeing everybody so yeah um yeah so I the live will be this Sunday. I forget where I was going, y'all. But I did, um, like I said, I got that from Bev. I got some bracelets and then I opened up my pens and I have the dragon pen that Randy's giving away this week and I need to get that to her so she can ship it out to the winner. And then the winner from the Muni Made trays the first week, she did contact me um, and she is at, she's international. So she's willing to pay for shipping. So we're all good there. Um, I asked her for her address. So I'm working on getting that out to her. So I'm not going to wait till the event is over. I normally like to ship things out immediately. So that way I don't have them, you know, sitting around. Um, I do have a D stash um, from Saban's D stash that I need to send out. So if you're watching, I apologize. Um, I got to send that out. So I've got a little stack of things that need to be opened and filmed and things that need to be shipped. But we only got home. Let's see. What's today? Thursday. We got home Tuesday. So I'm, I'm slowly catching up. I did put my Patreon vlog um, up yesterday. I did do some filming from Disney and some pictures and did a little slideshow. I tried to vlog, you know, every day or every other day. 
So if you're interested, I do have a Patreon. And it used to be where you would only really want to join the beginning of the month because that's when you would get charged. But they changed their billing system. And now you can sign up anytime and that'll be your reoccurring payment date. So they don't charge you again on the first. They just charge you whenever you sign up. And it's just a way to get to know, you know, me better, me to get to know you. And it's just a, you know, a monthly subscription type of setup if you're not familiar with it. And it's behind the scenes content. And we really have our own little special community over there. There's about mm, 45 of us right now. It fluctuates, obviously. No pressure to join, you know, of course. But if you are interested, I would love to have you. So there are different tiers. Um, I'll have that link down below if you are interested. And what else, y'all? Diamond pennies. Yeah, I just have a lot of stuff to unbox. So be looking for that. I've got a package. I don't even know what it is. I've got another one. I've got, you know, a lazy river I need to unbox. Um, they got pre-orders that haven't. So it's, it's more like a, um, it originally was going to be like a sneak peek, but I didn't want to hold them up uh, because it was going to be here while I was gone on vacation. So she went ahead and put them out for sale. They are pre-orders, so no one has gotten them yet, but I actually have a copy of it and I'm going to be doing an unboxing. So yes, it'll be like a first look type of thing. And it's my really my first ever to do something like that. So it's very, very special. So thank you to Steph and Matt over there at Lazy River for, you know, your friendship and for, you know, giving me that opportunity and for trusting me with, you know, with your paintings for your business. I really do appreciate it. All right, y'all. What other? I just feel like I've got so much stuff in my mind. Let's talk about my vacation, shall we? Let's talk about it. Um, let me get a swig of coffee. So we, let's see, we left last, we were gone Tuesday to Tuesday, basically. So it was a week. We left Tuesday in the afternoon, but before we headed out, we had to go drop off um, my two older dogs, Jasper and Margo. We dropped them off at the vet to be boarded. And then, um, then I took Ollie, the puppy, over to my mother-in-law's because she was going to watch him. So I went over there and then um, kind of just, you know, the kids went to school half a day. So kind of got the kids all back at home half day, got them all packed up. And we were out of here about three. I got to the airport and we met our friends there and we ate and hung out and then waited for our flight. Um, we got in about nine o'clock. We did rent a big van, like a big economy van because there's nine of us. So we all liked it. We did it last year and it worked out so good. Uh, my husband drives the van the whole time and he does such a good job at, you know, everything when it comes to the trip, the planning of it. I got to give him so many, so much credit. He does all the travel arrangements. He drives the van. He does our fast passes for the rides, figures out our meals. Y'all, he's just the hotel, everything. So he's amazing. And the other family we go with, their husband is, um, he's really good too. So like the husbands, we were calling them the Disney dudes. They didn't like that name, but... That's what we were calling them because they're just, they could start like a YouTube channel of just like how to do Disney. They were, they're really, really good at it. Cause like I said, we've gone, you know, several years in a row. So it's like our spring break is what we do together. Um, so we got in, got the van and then we needed to go. Uh, we went to the room and put our stuff down, got everything kind of settled in there. And then everybody was hungry. And we needed to go to the store to get some stuff for the room, like, you know, for breakfast, because we didn't want to eat breakfast out because this, um, the room we rented did have a, uh, a little kitchenette and a washer and dryer. So it was really nice. We were able to do laundry and we ate all of our breakfast in, and that, you know, we had coffee. So we had to go out and get coffee and all the things, waters. So we head out and we go to Walmart and they closed at 11 and we got there like about 1030. So we were like, just imagine though, five, let's see, one, two, three, four. Five kids, yeah, there's more of them than us. They outnumbered us, five kids and four adults. There was two shopping carts. We had about 30 minutes at Walmart and we all were just dumping stuff in the cart and everybody was just grabbing stuff going in different directions. It was chaos and everyone's hungry and they're getting tired. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's an hour later for us in Florida than, you know, cause it's Eastern and we're in Central. So at least we weren't, you know, we had an hour, we felt like it was an hour earlier though for us. So we weren't super tired yet. We were getting there and they were all hungry. So then we go back to the room, unload the groceries, and then we're trying to see what's what's open and what food there is. So we stopped at Taco Bell and my husband did like a mobile order for like a huge like combo taco party thing. And there was just like a million tacos and a few burritos. Got back, had a bunch of tacos, and then 
went to bed, <laughs> essentially. We didn't go to bed till like one, I think it was. So everybody was pretty wiped out just from the day of traveling. And uh, yeah, so we made it. The house was super cool. I say house, but it's more of a, it's called a tree house. The tree house villas is what they're called. It is um, on property, on Disney property. So it really makes it nice to get to the parks. And plus we had the van. So we did take some Disney transportation. Uh, we took the Skyliner and the, um, the uh, monorail and the bus once or twice. So we did take a, you know, when it made sense and when it seemed faster than actually driving to the parks. So the next day we get up and I don't remember what park we did, but we went to Disney and we did that. So we were at, let's see, Tuesday was traveling. We didn't go to the park on Tuesday because it was so late. So Wednesday we did Disney. Thursday we did Disney. Friday we did Universal Studios. And we got to do all the Harry Potter stuff, which I had never seen before. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I mean, I've watched, I, I understand the basics of it, sort of, kind of. But y'all are going to kill me, but don't, don't come for me. But while we were in line to ride the train, the, I don't know what the train's called, but like the nine and three quarter, well, I know y'all are going to kill me, but like the train, right? To Hogsmeade, I think it is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But Lou's like, mom, do you know what Hogwarts is? And I said, um, yeah, this was why we were waiting in line. She's like, I said, yeah, it's the, the name of the city or the town they live in. And she looks at me and she's like, what? You don't even know? She goes, that's the school. I'm like, I didn't know. So y'all, I need to, I need to buff, buff up and catch up on my um, Harry Potter knowledge. And I was like embarrassed because there was like some hardcore Harry Potter fans there. People like in robes and wands and the glasses and the whole nine yards. I have seen a couple of them, but I definitely don't know much about it. But it was so incredible. Uh, my patrons got to sell some of the video, uh, the, the castle, or I guess the school. So cool. The little town, the city is like, or the town is like white rooftops, like snow. You walk out after you get off the train, you're like, whoa, you're like in a different world. It was really, really cool. They did a great job. There's like this big, big, um, a big dragon on top of the building. So that's when I kind of wish I'm like, I really wish I would have watched Harry Potter before I came because I think it would have meant even more, but it was impressive. So I got to give Universal some props because they did a really good job. The um, only downside is when we were getting on the train, I didn't realize it was going to be so tight. I am claustrophobic and I normally do pretty good with it, but I also try to avoid situations where, you know, there's tight spaces. I kind of know what to expect in certain rides and I don't ride certain things. And, um, but I, but we were all getting on the train to go to this other area of the park and we get on this train and it's tight. It's really, really tight. And there's another family sitting across from us. Like we're like knee to knee. It's really, really tight. And they closed the doors and I felt like I was going to have a panic attack. I could feel it coming. I told my husband I didn't like it. And he's like, you okay? I'm like, I'm okay. I'm okay. I just had to keep looking up and breathing and like trying to close my eyes. And oh my gosh, that was awful. I'll never ride the train again. Oh yeah. So that was scary. I started to feel it. I also felt it in line for one of the Star Wars rides. There was like the skinny tunnel. And I have my, I have medicine with me just in case I do start to panic. I have like some, you know, Xanax or whatever it is. I don't use it, but I have it just in case of emergency if I feel like I'm panicking. But I didn't use it, but I knew I had it in my bag just in case. But oh my gosh, y'all, it was so scary. So another thing that happened, um, one of the days we were at Disney. So there are four parks at Disney, for Disney World, if you're not familiar with it. Um, and each park is like far apart from each other and it's huge. So there are four parks. There's Magic Kingdom, which is like where the, the castle is. And then there's Animal Kingdom. And then there's Epcot, you know, the big ball. And then there's Hollywood Studios, which is, you know, they have like the Star Wars stuff. We have never done all four parks in one day. We did it. We did it. I can't believe we did it. We about were dead at the end of the day. We did all four parks in one day. I don't remember what day it was, but it was one of the days. <laughs> yeah. So that was like a huge goal. I mean, I guess the last time we went to Disney, um, if y'all remember, if, you know, if you watch, if you've been following me, I got sick at Disney and we think it's from drinking the tap water, 
which I know a lot of y'all were like, don't drink the tap water this time. I almost did one morning, one of our first mornings there. I went to take my thyroid medication when I first wake up and I was walking into the bathroom and I was looking for a cup and I was like, no, 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 no. I got to drink bottled water. I cannot drink the sink water because I got sick and I missed um, the park with my family that day. Well, apparently they had done three parks that day without me, but doing all four is pretty ambitious and it's very, very hard, but we did it. We did it. It was very strategic. The guys did a great job and the kids hung in there. We were getting really tired. At one point, I'm like, I don't think we can do it, um, but we did it, y'all. It was a long day, but we did all four parks in one day. So that was like a cool, you know, kind of cool goal that we've always had and a cool accomplishment. So we did that. Um, one thing that happened one day, we were at uh, Magic Kingdom and we were at a restaurant called Cosmic Rays. And it's just like burgers and chicken sandwiches and stuff and fries. We always eat there. It's a quick, easy, you know, everyone gets what they want there. So we were um, ordering our food and Ryan comes over, my 17 year old comes over and he's like to help me with the food and to carry stuff over. And I'm like, oh, thanks for coming. Cause I think it's all five. It's going to be like two trays. It's going to be a lot of stuff. So they brought the food and then the lady was getting the drinks and she puts, you know, four, I think it was just four drinks. Cause I was just going to drink water, like four sodas in cups. Now at Disney, they don't use lids. I don't know why I don't, cause it's plastic. Uh, they do use paper straws, which suck, but I know it's for the environment. Uh, but they, they stick to your lips. So we, I do not, I do not like paper straws, but you do what you got to do. So you get a paper straw and you get no lids. So the lady brings over the four sodas to Ryan and I'm about to carry the tray of food. And I look at Ryan and I'm like, buddy, why don't you get a tray? He's like, no, I can carry all four. And I'm like, uh, I'm like get a tray. I, I don't want you to drop the drinks. He's like, mom, I don't need a tray. And I'm like, grab a tray. And I kind of gave him the look, right? Like, stop arguing with me. Just get a tray. And I was like, what? I'm like, they're not gonna, I'm like, I just hope they don't slide off. Y'all, the drink slid off. And not only did they slide off, they slid off into Lou's lap. Mm-hmm. We get to the table, I set the food down, Ryan goes to set the tray down across from Lou on the table, and all the drinks, except for one, three sodas without lids, spilled onto her lap. It was awful. She screamed, freaked out, cried, cold soda, ice. She like froze. And I was like, get up, get up, get up. And I was like trying to grab her hands to like get her to stand up to like get it off her lap. Because it was, uh, y'all, shoes were soaked, socks, shorts, shirt, everything. Basically, she was all wet from like the chest down because um, they just went splashing everywhere. It was awful. So the couple next to us was really, really sweet. Um, here's the other thing. The other adults, so my husband and the other, you know, the other, the other couple we were traveling with, they were at a different table. I was, I was bringing the kids their food and then I was going to go join the, the, the adults. The adults didn't even see what happened. So no one was there to help. I was like the only one. And I was at the kids table <laughs> when this happened. And, uh, the couple next to us were super sweet. It was just them. They didn't have any kids, but they were waiting on their food and they were sitting there with napkins. And so Lou's phone was on the table. It was soaked in soda. And so the guy next to us grabbed, picked up her phone real quick. The, the, the lady handed us napkins. They, they were moving chairs for us. They were so sweet. And I thanked them profusely after we got out of the bathroom and came back to the table. So I rush her to the bathroom and she's hysterically crying. Ah, you know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, we'll figure this out. So we go to the bathroom and she's like, I want to go home. And she was just so upset. And I'm like, no, we can't go home. We still have half a day to go. We're good. Well, let's figure this out. So I start grabbing a bunch of napkins, trying to dry her legs. We're taking her shoes off. And I'm like, what about your socks? And nothing is good enough. She's just freaking out. She's like, I'm sticky. I'm sticky. I'm cold. I'm wet. Everything's wet. Um, and so I looked at her and I was like, okay, what can I do here? What can I do? Right. Mom mode kicks in. I'm like, okay, how can I fix this? So I looked at her and I'm like, cause she had an oversized t-shirt on and we can kind of like wear each other's clothes now cause she's getting big. And so, um, I had like a Disney shirt on like a Mickey shirt and she had this black t-shirt on. And what's funny about this t-shirt that she decided to wear that day, I didn't even want her to pack this shirt because, okay, there is an artist named Selena. If you're not familiar with her. She was a, um, 
she's she's saying like Spanish songs and then she was like a crossover. Well, she got murdered and it was like this thing. And so anyways, I don't even, she's not really, she's not even a Selena fan, but she was at Target with one of her other little friends one time. I let them go off and I guess her friend is a Selena fan and they bought these black t-shirts that say Selena on them. Not that I'm not a, I mean, I, it's fine. I just was like, do you even know who this is? And she doesn't know who it is. <laughs> okay. So that's what she chose to wear that day. So I'm looking at her and I'm like, okay, can we switch shirts at least? You know, let's, so I'm, I'm drying her shoes in the dryer. I'm trying to squeeze out her socks, I'm squeezing out her t-shirt. And I'm like, let's switch shirts. And she's like, okay. I was like, oh. so finally she started to calm, calm down a little bit knowing that she was going to be able to wear my shirt and I was going to wear hers. So I put on her soggy, wet, sticky soda t-shirt. <laughs> it's just, and again, no one's, the adults don't even know what's happening. That My husband and the other family, they're like chilling at the table, eating their lunch. And I'm like in the bathroom, freaking out, trying to settle her down. And, oh, so stressful. And of course, Ryan felt awful. He felt so bad. And then I felt bad because... I felt like it was my fault because I told him to use the tray. And I think if he wouldn't have used the tray, they wouldn't have slid off. So I felt like it was my fault. He felt like it was his fault. So we changed shirts. Um, she seems to be a little bit better, but she's not happy. And I said, please don't go out there and make Ryan feel even worse. Just let's go out. Let's eat our lunch. Hopefully the food didn't get sewed all over it, which it didn't. Um, just it was just all over the table. But everything got cleaned up while we were gone. And uh, yeah, it was so we sat down, she was able to eat, but she was real quiet and just kind of looking over at Ryan and he was looking at her and he wasn't saying anything. He looked real sad. And I was like, oh my gosh. So finally she's eating and she's starting to feel a little better. She's still complaining about being wet. Her feet are wet. I'm like, you'll dry. You will dry because it was hot outside. The weather was great, y'all. It was like 80, 85 every day. We got rain the very, very last day. But um, it wasn't bad. And then the other day we went to Universal, it was like it rained for like a minute. We pulled out our ponchos and it stopped raining. But we had like excellent weather. Really, really nice. But I told her she would dry once we went outside. And so Ryan finally, towards the end of the meal, end of his eating, he comes over. And without me even saying anything, because I was going to tell him. Because he told, she told me, she's like, he didn't even say he was sorry. I'm like, he probably doesn't even know what to say right now. He probably feels really bad and he doesn't know what to say. And so I was really hoping, and I thought I was going to have to tell him, but I was really hoping he was going to say he was sorry to her. And sure enough, he came over and he's like, Lou, I'm really sorry. And she didn't say anything. I'm like, say it's okay. <laughs> she, oh, she was so pissed off. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I finally go over and I'm like, um, honey, did, do, you, do you even know what just happened like a little while ago? And he goes like, they told me, but I didn't even see anything. I was like, yeah, I know. I uh, was handling it and dealing with all the drama. Oh my gosh, y'all. So here I am walking around all day with a Selena shirt and my husband keeps going, do you want to go to the gift shop and get a different shirt? I'm like, no, I'm rocking this shirt today because uh, you know, big, I'm a big fan. And he was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but the things you do for your kids, y'all. So finally, my husband keeps telling, do you want to go get a new shirt? I'm like, do you want me to get a new shirt? He's like, no, it's up to you. I just don't, you know, I'm like, yes, fine. He goes, are you wet? And I'm like, I'm going to dry. So finally we go into a gift shop because you know, they have the gift shops everywhere all the souvenir shops and we went in and I did get a, um, Disney shirt. Um, I haven't even worn it yet. It's like, it's like Nate, it's like a army green. It's got Mickey on it. It's really cute. I did get a hat, big surprise. I did get, it's one I've been eyeing for a while and I've never got it. It's a, uh, it's like a dark green, almost like an army green color. And it's got a little simple, it's kind of a trucker hat a little bit, but it's kind of got the rugged bill and, uh, it's got a little Mickey on the front. So it's subtle, but uh, yep. So we made it y'all. So we did, like I said, all four parks made it through that day. Um, the one thing I will say the day we went to universal, pretty disappointed in universal, to be honest with you. Um, Harry Potter was very impressive, thought it was really cool, but, um, something else had happened that day when we were at universal and it was just really, really sad and just, you know, just disappointing. Um, we, so my husband loves roller coasters. And so we were going to sit out, you know, a couple of us were sitting out and we were going to let them go ride. He comes back and he's like, I don't fit. Now my husband is a big guy. Now, not like huge, but if he's a big guy, he could not ride several of the rides. He did not fit in them. One of the rides, he was like, they barely were able to put the, the, the straps, like the bar over him. 
He's about 6'4". And why would you not build rides to fit bigger people? I don't understand. I'm very, it was disappointing. Um, here we spent all this money and there was a handful of rides he could not ride. I mean, one of the Harry Potter rides he couldn't ride. Um, and we were all in line and he had to leave the line and leave because they did like a little test. They had like a little fake, you know, um, seat. Cause I guess, you know, it happens a lot cause it's small, it's very tight. And they had him sit in there and test it and it didn't lock all the way down. So he had to leave. It just, you know, so I don't think we'll go back to universal. Um, it's just disappointing. And I just, a shock, it's just shocking that they don't make rides big enough for all different sizes. I don't understand, you know? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's tough. And like I said, one of the rides he did ride, they had him kind of like, he wasn't even sitting all the way in the seat. He was like sitting on the seat with, yeah, it was just, it was really bad. So that was disappointing. Um, we, like I said, we did go to Universal on Friday and we were supposed to go back. We did buy a two day and then we were going to go back on Monday. Um, we were watching the weather and it was supposed to rain really bad on Monday. And here we were leaving Tuesday and we thought, oh no, you know, we're going to be able to go. We're going to be able to do it. But we were kind of like had a bad taste in our mouth about Universal from, you know, what we had experienced, you know, on Friday. But of course we already had bought the tickets and, you know, the kids really wanted to go. So we're heading out, getting ready to go to Universal. We're driving there and it starts dumping and pouring rain. Um, I only have three ponchos, so two people wouldn't even get one. We didn't have an umbrella. And we just were like totally worn out from walking, walking, walking and doing the parks. So half of us, so my family and I, we decided to, um, so Nate, my 16 year old really wanted to go see a movie, the movie scream. I don't know what number it is, but it's that scary movie, um, had just come out on Friday and he really wanted to see it. And he was like, can we go see a movie while we're at Disney? We're like, oh, I don't know if we'll have time, maybe. So, um, we decided to skip universal and we found out that if you don't use your tickets, they don't expire. You can use them at, at another at another day. So we didn't we weren't out of that money. So we'll be able to use them if we next time we go. And we went to the movies. Now the family we we're with, our friends decided to. Um, they had a a five day pass, and we didn't. We only had like oh wait, they had a five or six day pass. So they had one more day left where they could do the parks. We didn't. We would, would have to pay for it. And we didn't want to do that. So they, uh, we dropped them off at Animal Kingdom because we had the, the van and they did, we kind of, so we split up that day. Our last day we split up and um, they did Disney and then we went to the movies at Disney Springs. So it was really fun. We got to sit for a while. We had some candy and soda and we watched a movie. Then after that, we kind of walked around and did a little shopping and then we met up with them. Now we had changed hotels. I didn't tell you all that part. On... Sunday morning, we had to check out of our, the tree house we were staying in because we couldn't book it for the entire week. They didn't have availability. So we had to change hotels. So we had to pack up all of our stuff and go stay at a different hotel. And the family we were with, we did not stay at the same hotel. So they stayed somewhere else because they were able to use some points from the husband traveling and stuff. So, and then we used points with a different hotel. So we did split up. Um, we had a kitchen and they did not in our second room. And when we were at the treehouse together, when we had done that run at Walmart, we'd bought stuff to make pasta and garlic bread and sauce and noodles and the whole nine yards. Well, we never got around to making it. So we brought it over to our other hotel and we said, our last night we'll make dinner. I say we, my husband. So that last night we were all just exhausted, but, um, my husband cooked the pasta and the garlic bread and, um, <clears throat> they came over and we had dinner in the hotel room our very last night. We kind of started packing our stuff up because Tuesday morning, we had to leave so early in the morning. We had to get up at 4.30 in the morning. Our flight was at eight. And of course we had to drop off the rental car and you know do all the things. Now, the good news is we did not check bags. I know I'd mentioned that before and I think my live, um, which is so good, y'all. It's so much better in my opinion. You didn't have to wait for bags on either end. You just can leave, you know? Um, and the fact that we had a washer and dryer, you know, made it easier to not have to pack like, you know, a crazy amount of stuff because, you know, we did, we did do loads of laundry, but that was the thing about having a kitchen and a washer and dryer. You had to do dishes, you had to do laundry. So you didn't get to totally escape, you know, like on vacation where you don't have to do all your chores. 
but yeah, what, what a trip. Uh, we did travel together uh, on the way home. So we were on the same flight and uh, yeah, it was just a, it was a great, great day, a uh, great week, I should say. Um, I'm a little tired, a little tired. Um, let's see, from getting up at 4.30 that morning, about nine o'clock that night, I just like passed out and I've just been kind of staying up late now because I'm a little off with, you know, daylight savings happened when we were there. And then of course, you know, the one hour time difference. And, uh, but yeah, we ate a lot of good food when we were there. Um, I had to go to a doctor's appointment yesterday and I got weighed and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. I ate and drank my way through Disney. I surely did y'all. We had all the things, all the food, rode a ton of rides, uh, did all the Star Wars rides. I will tell you, they did such a good job on, uh, Rise of the Resistance and the Millennium Falcon. Like a lot of the Star Wars rides are really cool. The first um, couple years that we went, I didn't really do the Star Wars rides because I would, Lou didn't want to do them. And it was just like my, my husband and my boys would, were doing them. But we finally got over that and we started actually doing some of those rides. And they're just, they're really, really good. They did a great job. We did um, a lot of new rides. We did uh, in Toy Story Land, we did Slinky Dog, which is this crazy fast roller coaster. So yeah, I'm trying to think what else. It just, it was a great week. Um, now we can just kind of, you know, get back and, you know, do the things we need to do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now, for now. And I'm going to pause real quick and I'm going to pull up the um, the random comment picker. And we are going to see who is going to win this beautiful, beautiful, this beautiful diamond pen pal pen. And I will go grab it. So you know I'm not using yours. Yes, I had to buy, I had to get my own, y'all. I just couldn't. I opened it. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. I, do y'all have any more blanks? Because I, I need one of those. And it's uh, it's a little bit of a thicker pen than what I'm used to, but I've been using it since last night, and it's it's great. I've been using it now. All right, so let me pause. I'm going to pull my, my computer and get all the things going, and then I'll take a video of um, picking the winner. Okay, so I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, we are back. We're on my computer. And I was gonna show y'all. Here's the pens. We're gonna be twinsies. We're gonna be Twinkies. Uh, one for me, one for you. So yeah, I've got the pens right here. Um, okay, and again, this was open to international and US. You just have to pay for um, anything over $15 for shipping. All right, so all I've done so far is put the URL in there from last week's video. Include replies to comments, uh, filter duplicate users based on a specific text. And the word was magic. When I loved all your comments, they were so good. I love them. And then we have to do the math problem. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Eight plus five, did I do that right, y'all? 13, sorry, I'm moving around a lot. All right, let's see how many people commented. Let me zoom in a little bit. We had, wow, you guys, 266 comments. That's a lot. That is a lot, let me zoom out. Okay, so. 266 comments. Okay. Let me go to pick a winner. Now y'all need to watch for your name. Okay. Good luck to everybody. And let's see who's going to win this beautiful pen. Okay. On your mark. Oh, we got to do the finger journal. Oh, that was kind of weak. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. Look for your name. There's a lot of them. Amy W. Congratulations. She said, wow, that is a gorgeous pen. Hope you have a great time enjoying the magic of Disney this week. Such a fun place for vacation. Thank you so much, Amy. Um, go ahead and send me a message, either Instagram, here, email, reach out to me. And uh, y'all, if she doesn't reach out to me, I'm going to give it a week. And if I don't hear from you within a week, um, within that week, then I will pick a new winner. Okay. So you never know, y'all. Don't give away. Don't give up. I love Amy. But if Amy doesn't contact me then we may have to draw another winner. But congratulations, Amy. Amy W., so happy that you won this beautiful pen, this lava pen. So thank you again to Diamond Pen Pal um, for that. Um, yeah, oh, here's my painting I finished, y'all. Might as well show you what, what's going on in here. My matchmaker's maze is all done. Okay, y'all, um, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go ahead, I know this was a little bit shorter than an hour, but um, I'll go ahead and bring it back to what we were doing. I'm just holding my phone. Uh, but yeah, I'm on a lot of confetti. See what I mean? 
that's a lot of confetti. I've just been picking around. You can't do a lot of uh, multi-placing. So, yep. Oh, that's a bubble wrap for the pen. So yes, so happy about the pens. Um, thank you again to all the sponsors. And make sure you leave the word water for this, for next week's uh, winner, okay? For Randa's gift card to her Etsy shop. And uh, if y'all have not subscribed, uh, it is free. I would love to have you. So go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell too. And you'll get notified whenever I post up any new videos. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. They really do help. And uh, love you guys so much. Um, I will see you um, in some unboxing videos. Please join my live this Sunday uh, at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I look forward to seeing you guys, okay? Take care, uh, love you, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye guys.